much. That was perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, have a seat and uh, and right back at you. Uh, I appreciate it. That was uh, now. Now I owe you some applause. Hold on. You get change. That's what you get. There was too much, and you get a little bit back. Um, so here's what's going on now. Oh, there's always something. This morning, uh, I was taking a shower, which is uh, uh, every day. Just that's, that's, uh, that's not the thing. Oh, yes. There's no need for me to. You would never know if I don't smell uh, clean and shiny. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but uh, yet I do. Um, and so, so I was taking a shower this morning. And uh, have you done this? But when you're showering, you lose jewelry. I lost a diamond while I was showering this morning. And I don't normally shower with my tiara on, but I, uh, <laughs> this morning was special. Um, no, I had uh, this little tiny, tiny diamond on a kind of a, a string, basically. And because uh, I thought it was kind of funky that it was a diamond on a string, but the string was not a good idea, evidently. And uh, <laughs> so I was showering, and I didn't even know it was gone. And I went to go uh, get this part, which is always the important part. And I went to, to scrub that, and I felt something. And I was like, was there floss in here? It was the weirdest. <laughs> like, why do I have floss on me? And then it was a string, and then it kind of dawned on me that it was the string of my diamond. And then the, there's water running. There's, and so, you know, that panic of that, <gasps> like that, and then the cartoon kind of, boo <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> noise would happen when you and uh so anyway I was scared and turned the water off and thought I'll never get it I'm sure it's down the drain and uh I was already imagining how to get down in the drain you've seen the Drano commercials there's all kinds of stuff down there there's and uh so and I was thinking now I could use the raccoon he'd put his little tiny hands in there and get in there and then Anyway, but, uh, but it was, I found it. It was weird because I thought for sure it was down the drain and I was looking all over and it was the same color basically as I have a diamond floor. Um, <laughs> I, it was sort of kind of blended in, but I found it. Anyway, I was thinking that's really lucky because sometimes you lose things and, and they're not right down below you. You don't even know where you lost them. And like if you lost something the night before, you know that you had it with you last night. Let's say you lose your... Um, uh, you're trying to thought. Um, you're, um, <laughs> an article of clothing, like, cause you always lose something, you know, like a, uh, a hat or gloves or something small. If you're losing pants, you've got a bigger problem. <laughs> um, but I lost a, 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 a hat and, uh, you know how you have to retrace your footsteps? You have to kind of go, okay, last night we were at the bar in Santa Monica. Then we went over to that bar in Wilshire. <laughs> then we went to the bar over in, uh, then we went to that other bar. <laughs> How could I have lost it? Um, but I, I lost, a, um, I lost this, my favorite hat, this blue cashmere kind of uh, cap hat, hat cat, cat hat, cap hat. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, a cashmere hat, the thing. And uh, so anyway, so I lost it and I, and I was thinking, I know where I lost it, I lost it at this restaurant. So I called the restaurant, because it was at our table. And I said, I lost my blue hat and we were at this table. And the guy's like, no, we haven't found it. And I was really, if there was a split screen, if it was a movie, he was wearing it going, no, we haven't found it. I, I know he had it on. Um, <laughs> here's what I hate too, because I was remembering another time that I lost something and I made a huge deal out of it. It was a, it was a big deal that I lost this, this thing. And, and I had everyone looking for it. Like we had like five people looking all over, just tearing the place apart. And I put my hands in my pocket and it was in my pocket. And uh, then I was embarrassed, so I had to toss it under the bed and go, oh, here it is! You know. The other day, the other day we were at, uh, at this, this uh, friend's house and we were up on this kind of high balcony looking over down this hillside, admiring the hillside, and my friend had a radio in his hand. It was like this tiny little thing you can drive and listen with earplugs. And he dropped the, the radio down the hillside, like a really steep hillside. And he's like, oh, forget it. And I'm like, no, no, I'll get it. I don't mind. And uh, <laughs> when I got down, I didn't realize how steep it was. I looked like, you, you saw Dudley, movie, Dudley Moore in the movie uh, 10, when he goes rolling down that hillside. <laughs> That's what I looked like coming back up. I had my clothes were torn. I had weeds in my hair. But he got his radio back, and I didn't spill my drink. And uh, everybody wins. I'll tell you something. Oh, 
Oh, man. Ooh. Now, I tried to do the usher. I know, I, I tried know. to do it. I said I'd do it with you, but I, I had to stop halfway through. Have no idea what happened to my bling during it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't usually wear my e-bling. I wore it, because Usher's going to be wearing his. I know it, so. You bling up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, uh, how you doing? I'm great. Good. I'm really excited about today. Me too. Yeah. Me too. Um, on the show today, Patrick Stewart is here. <laughs> He's in a new movie with Glenn Close called The Lion in Winter, and uh, and he's always he's got stories. I can't wait. He's a, he's a he's a good guy to talk to. Uh, Nigella Lawson is also on the show today. <laughs> Style Network, Forever Summer with Nigella. That's the name of her new cooking show, Forever Summer with Nigella, which sounds like a novel. <laughs> uh, maybe she's cooking with Fabio. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, it's a British themed show. She's from she's from England, right? Yes, it's a British infused show today. It is. And yes. do you know these folks, both of them? I know of them. Yes, you yes. don't you haven't met them? No. You all don't hang out? No, not yet. Okay. <laughs> oh, and on the show, you, you look, there's nothing wrong with this guy right here. Usher is on the show. Confessions, and uh, that was a little Usher move. I, I'm telling you, he's probably going to start stealing some moves from me after he saw some of those. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I'm sure he's never tried half of those things I've done. Nope. <laughs> um, today's big finish, what can I say? Today's big finish cannot really be described in words. Instead, I shall do an interpretive dance describing the grandness of the finale. One standing ovation for that. Thank you very much. Yeah, so I think you see how big it is. Um, and, uh, oh, it's time for the riff raffle. Bring out the drum, boys. Uh-oh. Nate and Houston, what happened? Oh, we've already lost some. Put those back in there. Okay, thank you. Don't try to cheat. All right, Nathan Houston, thanks very much. And uh, we're going to wrap it off. See who sits in the luxury box. There are only eight people in there, and there are about 19 cards in here. What, what could there be? These, uh, is Barbara Lesser here? Did she... Barbara, come on. There's no buckle, but sit down. And can we get you anything? You want some water? No, you want I'm some uh, Coca-Cola and uh, uh, like a, a nice uh, egg drink? A martini would be nice. A martini? Yeah, yeah. How about that? Okay. Very smooth. Um, all right, we'll get you a, a martini. No problem. Um, all right, well, welcome. And there's Thank only. Uh, there are only like eight more people. Let, let's take a look at the riffraff room. It's really sad back there right now, isn't it? Oh. All like you're on a life raft, just huddled together. Just Come on up here, all of you. Come on. Jacob watch. Remember I was telling you about Mary J. Blige gave me a lovely Jacob watch. This one 
right here with all the beautiful diamonds in it. Uh, there it is. And uh, it's, a, it's a gorgeous watch. It's got pink diamonds and yellow diamonds and black diamonds and all kinds of diamonds. Um, and, uh, and it tells time. And uh, <laughs> so uh, this watch I am putting up on eBay. I've already put it up on eBay. And uh, we're, all the proceeds will go to the Susan G. Komen Breast Cancer Foundation. <laughs> $8,800 for it right now. Uh, that's, uh, that's not even the value of the watch. The watch is a $16,000 watch, so come on, people. <laughs> Our first guest is a gifted actor who we melt in the blockbuster Star Trek and X-Men franchises. He's currently starring in Showtime's The Lion in Winter. Please welcome Sir Patrick Stewart. <laughs> to bow with you it was it's well, you I, I i don't think we've ever come face to face before no and i was truly pleased to see you well i'm you, uh, thank you you look great thank and you. um I, I am however very glad that i made an executive decision to change just before i came on because i was wearing a white open neck shirt and it would have looked as if our same mother had put us together yeah. this morning oh. <clears throat> you know the thing you were talking about um losing things and then them showing yes. up again there's have you ever heard of the borrowers the what Borrowers. The borrowers? Yeah. Oh, people that borrow You things? have a very, very cultivated audience. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, it's, a, it's an English children's book, or maybe it was a series of books called The Borrowers. And it was based on the idea that when we lose something, when it just disappears, we knew it was there, it's gone, and then all of a sudden it turns up a few days later. It's because the borrowers have borrowed it just oh. for a little while because they need it and then they return it. Oh, oh, the borrowers. The borrowers. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I see what you mean. They're ghosts. No, they're not ghosts. They're, they're little creatures who oh. need these things for a while, and oh. then they return them, they come in the night, and they take them away, and then they bring them back. Well, that's scarier. They're creatures. By the way, uh, <laughs> did somebody mention martinis earlier? Yes, would you like one? Love one. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, same thing, vodka, and you want to... No, 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 that's not a martini. You, oh. Gin. Really? Sure. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Them, them fighting words. <laughs> yeah. Straight up, yeah. one olive, Tanqueray. Really? <laughs> did you know, actually, maybe Nigella will know about this. My son did the American bartender's course. He's an actor. Uh -huh. So, you know, you'd So he's a bartender, to... yes. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, no, he, he is an actor. Yeah. Uh, but okay. he did the course, and that was very... <laughs> that was... I, I think that was very practical of him, you know, that he has these other skills. Um, what I once, he was with me when I ordered a martini, and I said two olives, and he was horrified. Did you know about this? The, 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 there must never be um, uh, even numbers. No. If you order an olive, it's always got to be an odd one, three, five, but never two or four. Or who will come to get you? The borrowers! Yeah. <laughs> Weird English rules. I don't know this at all. Is he a, is a bartender in England or here? No, no. The American bartending school. I, I've in, never heard of the. I've I've had two olives, unless you have a really long. How two many? Do you have many friends? Um. <laughs> say one. No. Need, need I, I say more? They, they all know about the olive thing, and yeah. they're just too shy to tell you. Well, oh. now you know, and your life will change. All right, and you like one olive. I don't like it. He's made me now so twitchy about this olive thing. Well, then why don't you have three? Just because skip... three seems... You know, you've you got a beautiful martini glass, uh -huh. and you put three olives in, it looks like a glass of olives, not a martini. Oh. Well, also, it, it takes out some of the level of the, the, the gin you could have in there. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm always yes. thinking. Yeah. Yeah. A woman after my yeah. own heart. All right, so we'll, we'll get you the, uh, we'll get you the tangeray. Jim. Thank you. Uh, right. After mentioning it here, they'll send you a case. That's how it goes. You think I'm a fool? Yeah. yeah. You think I'm... <laughs> you know what you're doing. Yeah. And by the way, um, by the way, I just saw the cue card they're holding up. You did call me Sir Patrick, didn't you? Oh. I, th I thought I heard that. That's what I thought your name was. Thank you so much. And mm -hmm. someone held up a card. Maybe you're not a sir. I don't no, know. No, I'm not. No, no. Oh, you're I'm not? just ordinary mister. Oh. Yeah. But thank you for 
thinking of me. Well, put I shall. I some shall, ideas in I some shall knight you. Oh. <laughs> No, 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 Yes, well, yes. Go, go. Well, I just wanted to ask you also, because you look great, and I th a lot of people are shaving their head, <laughs> if not shaving. Uh, did you do that on purpose or no? No, this is me. Th this, mm -hmm. this is not artifice. Uh, I can't help this. Uh -huh. Well, I could grow it longer, but uh, <laughs> I choose not. It's, it's, it was, I lost my hair when I was a teenager. It was horrible. It was traumatic. I thought my life was over. But then, of course, I adjusted to it because I'm a fairly evolved creature, and... Um, and then I find all these people with wonderful heads of hair start shaving it all off. Yeah. And um, I felt that I had sort of cornered the market in a certain kind of look. Now it's ten a penny. Now I can't grow my hair back. <laughs> they can, and it's it's a little um, irritating. That's no. It. Well, you look great. It's Thank very you. distinguished, and and it fits you now that you're a sir. <laughs> hey, we have to go to a commercial. We're gonna look for that tangeray. We'll be right back. tell by the clothes that was shot a long time ago you had hair then uh -huh. and, uh, yep yeah now <laughs> that it, it, you're so good and glenn close uh, it's it's really it's really it's a remake of, of it's not a remake uh, no it's not a remake no. although what's interesting about it is and we think it might be for the first time it is the identical film script that was shot with uh catherine Hepburn and peter o'toole but I, I like to think we have revisited this screenplay. And why do it? Everybody asks when it was so brilliant the first time. Mm -hmm. Because it, it's an outstanding, it's a work of genius, the screenplay. And when something is that good, it deserves to be revisited. Nobody questions if there are three Hamlets in London this summer, for example. Nobody mm -hmm. questions that people would do it and do it again yeah. because it's such a good piece. When writing is of that quality, it deserves to be seen and reinterpreted. Well, it was, it was great. It's really, it, it's on Showtime soon. I want to just uh, show people this because this to me is amazing. You know, a lot of times there are action figures when there's a movie. Um, and the X-Men, you had the, the action figure and you weren't happy with how it turned out. Mm -hmm. So you, let's show the, the original one that they did, if we can looky-loo it. Um, uh, well, this is, this is the, uh, yeah, show, okay, so this is the original that you didn't like, right? Well, <laughs> Yeah. Look at it. Well, well, it needs it some powder. Like a... um, <laughs> definitely shiny, and then, uh, but too too thin, and then this is much better. Uh, uh, so it, it doesn't still doesn't look like me, no. but he's handsome. No, you know it? who it looks. <laughs> you know who it looks like. It looks like a producer here, Greg Gordon. L uh, look, let me show you uh, our producer. Look oh, at that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Isn't that amazing? It, it's it's astonishing. Um, yeah. So, uh, can he use that as his action figure? Do you mind? Uh, yes, of course. All in right. fact, if Greg has any acting ambitions, you know, uh, he could be my stunt double or stand-in, perhaps, on the He's next got movie. a nice butt. You know how they use butt doubles sometimes? <laughs> I, you don't I've need never that? had to have someone double uh, my you butt. Never, you uh, never... Uh, huh? so to <laughs> so to All right. The Lion and Winter premieres Sunday, May 23rd at 7.30 on Showtime. Uh, thank you so much for being here. It thank was, you. It was a pleasure. Yeah. I'll be talking with Nigel Please welcome international best-selling cookbook author Nigella Lawson. Okay, so uh, let's let's get going. We're, what are we making? You, you choose uh, you, okay, some summertime okay. kind of cooking, right? Easy, e easy cooking. Good. So I'm going to do a butterfly chicken. We call this spatchcock chicken. Now, this is the easy bit. All I'm going to ask you to do is open that bag. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. That's a very, very good job. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Do you want to do something else? Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Uh, and I'm going to... I'm going to put it this way. It so goes in the bag. Will you just squeeze the lemon in? Sure. 
and just put it on top of the... Well, you could just squeeze it, and I always throw in the empty pieces. Okay. Uh, so it's... maybe two, another half? <laughs> two uh, oh, more lemon. Okay. Wow, that's lemon. A, it's not... That's a lot of lemon, isn't it? Now, you've never really trained as a chef, is that right? I'm not a chef. You're no, not a chef? I'm not a chef. Who are you? Um, <laughs> I, well, I like writing about food, and I like cooking. I just write my friends. So, okay. So that's why, you see, I'm not peeling the onion. No, I, uh, and I think that's wrong, but... You don't think it's wrong. You can, you don't have to peel it. You can leave the. Yes, you can. Yeah. Okay. It's easier. All right. Okay, rosemary. So... You feel like rosemary? Ellen. Um... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Rosemary is this, and, is and how much do I put in? A couple of sprigs. That's, and what, is that a sprig, a that's, whole thing? Yes. Or is it like this a sprig? No, that's the, I call that a sprig. Those are the needles. You could just maybe pull the needles off and put it in here. Okay. Look at that. <laughs> That That's yeah, because you, you shouldn't throw things away. Yeah, no, no, you should be throwing it away. Throw it. No, no, no. You can use that to get the stuff out of your teeth later on. <laughs> um, a bit more, come on, a bit more. All right, a little more. Yeah. All right. And what do you like to eat? Like, do you eat this kind of stuff, or what, what kind yeah, of food? Yeah, when do you... it's cooked. Yeah, no, of course, when it's cooked. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 And now, why the bag? Is this does because it... what I do normally is I do it like this, and mm. I stick it in my fridge uh -huh. for a day or two, uh -huh. and all the flavors go in, uh -huh. and then it's easier. And why I cut the chicken uh -huh. is because like a rice chicken takes an hour and a half maybe, mm -hmm. and this is like it's really like cooking a steak. It's much smaller, uh -huh. flatter, so it doesn't take as long. So you get back from work. I'm moving on table. <laughs> Come back! Come back! All right. That chicken doesn't want to be cooked. Yes, does no, it? no. I'm... All right. So, so. Okay. So you now, just stick... maybe so... I should take this out after all. It's not as pretty. No, it doesn't okay. matter. We'll get flavour. Do you want me to do something will else? You, will you open that up? Open this one. So that just cooks like this. And now, okay. Up. It'll be beautiful. Now, I thought we were going to keep it in the bag. You just instead of a bowl, you're doing that. Oh, good. I, I took it out of the bag, didn't I? Yeah. I yes. Did. But that's what. <laughs> No, but I thought I that's what we were doing, but you just do it instead of putting it in a bowl and yes, mixing I do. it around. Yeah, exactly. So, okay. so that's, that's easy, all the flavors there. All right, no, fantastic. A bit of salad. All do you right. like salad? I love salad. Okay, that's... I'm going to get some chicken and this off is, my this hands. And is, uh, this is watermelon. Well done. Yes. So you're making a salad. <laughs> um, all right. So you're making a salad with watermelon? Yes. Feta. feta. Now, it sounds odd, but it goes well, so well together. Feta cheese. Watermelon. Mint. Watermelon. Mint. Some onion. Onion. Do you like the onion? Yeah, I do. But this, this time I've put some lime juice in, uh -huh. and it takes. You know how onion can give you that horrible breath? Oh yes. Yeah. So this makes it very sweet and tender. Really? Sweet, it doesn't give. Yeah. If you put lime in, in a, onion, any acid, lemon juice, vinegar, it takes away the stink. Yeah. Good to know. So okay. if someone has bad breath, can you just squeeze lime in their mouth? <laughs> you could try. All right. Good. It can't hurt. All right. Okay. Are you, you going to eat that, or shall I just? No, I am going to eat it. Okay, yes. So but tell me what to on. do. Well, yes. Okay. Carry on. Can you put? Some... Carry on. Uh, <laughs> right. Should I just break it up? Break it up. It doesn't matter. Well, I don't think anything really matters. I think mm. cooking should be just about doing things with your hands, feeling comfortable, everything. Right. I hate things that are too neat. I don't mind that. You can't upset me. I'm not upsetting you, am I? No. I, I'm not trying to. Yeah. All right. So that, that's... that's right. Now you can right. maybe tumble it about with your hands so it's more mixed up. Really? Yeah. Now you're just being. No, no. All right. That's fine. That's Because we have these. Is that what that? Yeah. I was wondering what these are for. That's for serving it. Later. I actually need it. I have an itch on the back. If you could just. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right. All right. Thank I you. <laughs> they're, they're my they're my serving hands. That, the that salad. looks beautiful. I, can you? Is there? Yeah. That's I'm beautiful. Get some and chicken. So, and now, do you also, let me ask you this, most cooks are very messy. Do you clean or do you, are you making a mess? You know, I'm away from home, so I can lie and say I clean, uh -huh. but I don't really. I make a mess. Wow. And look, there so you that's... are. His, he, you can, are you hungry? Uh, I am hungry, but, but look at my hands. I can't really, I think, hold on, let me just get another napkin. All right. I can carry on. So, Lime carry juice, on. maybe. Um, <laughs> Okay, so so this is the finished. It is, and that's beautiful. <laughs> and the plates are beautiful too. That's the the whole thing oh, is presentation. I isn't did this it? for you. Can you see? I just did it it's, all to match the, your set. I like it. We should get these official Ellen plates. That's great. Anytime. Now, Jella, well, this is this looks delicious. I'm going to taste it in one second, but this is this is messy. Um, Forever Summer with Nigella is on the Style Network Thursdays at 9:30. Uh, thank you so much for being thank here. You. I enjoyed it, and I look forward to learning how to do this. Careful, That's you're moving our set all around. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have on?
napkins. That's, uh, you got some bling on, yeah. Just a little napkin. Yeah, that's just a little tiny Sorry. thing. And then this is, uh... But I know you had your E, so I, I, I forgot my U. It's in the back. Yeah, I thought we'd have oh. a U. Yeah, I thought that'd be so cute. You are, uh, you couldn't be hotter right now. You, and that's gotta feel good to you. Yeah, that's, that's pretty nice. Yeah. All right, now let me ask you this question, because I don't understand the ab thing, because you have, you, you, I, I love, I mean, I actually, I can't get a smile off my face when I'm watching you dance. I love watching you move. It's I make, just. I, I make you happy. You make me happy. <laughs> you make me really happy. Um, and, and your body. I do this totally for you, though. You, know you did this for me? Yes, totally, yeah. All the shows, not just Everything this, but every. Oh, every time you see me with my shirt off, it's I'm all thinking for me? about you. Yes, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, so, but I don't She's understand. She's an Usher girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an Usher, I'm an Usher girl. All right, so I don't understand you have that, how you have that body when you are a huge Krispy Kreme freak. Yeah, I am. Because I went, because you, you live in Atlanta sometimes. I, yeah, I do. I, actually, I live in Atlanta. That's my home base. I've been I there went there to the get last... a Krispy Kreme, and they said Usher comes here all the time. Yeah. yeah. I, I love Krispy Kremes. I love Krispy. I'll tell you a funny story. Um, you know, the only reason I ever started singing, and this, my grandmother, she knows this, I told her. Um, the only reason I ever started singing is because I wanted to own a Krispy Kreme donut shop. I mean, after I did that, I'm done. Really? Oh, yeah. It's you, crazy. You As can, a kid, that was my wish. You I wanna... can probably buy one now. <laughs> yeah, a few. Yeah. 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 But instead, you spend your money on bling. No, not just bling. Yeah. You know, I do, I, I'm well invested. Uh -huh. But unfortunately, Krispy Kremes won't give me shares. Can you, can you help me out, somebody? Else? Yeah, somebody give him a Krispy Kreme <laughs> franchise. Because I know that you love them. So, I but love we, uh, we had one, uh, well, we have, we actually have 12 boxes for oh, you. What a treat. Isn't that nice? Yes. Um, you can't get to it. But, uh, and those are your favorite kind, right? The chocolate and the. Oh. Look, we have, we have 12 boxes for you. Yeah. What's going to happen to that? Abs of steel. After I eat that, it'll be flabs of steel. Uh-huh. All right. Well, don't, uh, I'll go ahead and you can have that. That's all right to have that, right? Because the way, you must dance every day and work that off. I dance a lot. Uh, I do, I do, I do. Yeah. Well, I'm always on tour. Like, uh, right now, I'm getting ready to go overseas to start my European tour. I'll be back here in August mm -hmm. to tour in the States. Well, it's a as long as I'm on stage or as long as I'm with my trainer, yeah. I, I, you know, I kind of keep it together. Yeah, you'll be okay. I, I'm okay. Yeah. yeah, you'll be all right. Yeah. All right, well, it's a treat to watch you.